Well, good evening, everybody, from Ellensburg, Washington, USA. This is Nick Zentner, the voice of Nick Zentner, and I'm going to continue to hang out here at Mission Control until I see that someone's in the chat and they can hear me, five by five, and if that's the case, uh, we will begin this live video. Steve W. says, hi, Nick, and Michelle says, Five, 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 five by five. Terrific. Let me come around and say hi to you all. Hello. It's been quite a while. It's been quite a while since we've been live together. And uh, let's see if I can find you on the Etch-A-Sketch here. Uh, full disclosure, this is a testing video, but I don't want to call it that because I do have some things that I want to announce and share and we can visit back and forth just a little bit and um, I don't know how this how long this one will last but I think I want to keep this one assuming that everything is functional so this is a combination of a testing video um, an announcement of the Friday noon geology lectures here in this room that start tomorrow <laughs> it's been a wild last couple of weeks with the beginning of the term uh, I've got a few stories for you I'll be answering a few of your questions just generally, I suppose, and then we'll say good night. Um, but let me see if I can find you here uh, on the iPad, which is always a bit of a struggle for some reason. Uh, current live stream, okay, well that's good. Well, there we are. Current live stream, okay. Turn the volume down, boy. There we are. I am rusty, Turn man, down, setting this all up. Setting this all up. Okay. Uh, like magic, there's already a hundred of you here. Okay. I did not announce this. I think I practiced scheduling that we were going to start at 6:30. I don't think I'm going to wait till 6:30 necessarily. So let me set the day and time for you. Uh, today is um, Thursday, October 5th, 2023. It's 6:18 p.m. Pacific time, and um, uh, we'll just start in a few minutes. How about that? Let me say hi to a few of you. Uh, I promise not to say this uh, much more, but uh, for a number of reasons, I just have not been live streaming. And it's I'm excited to get, well, I'm excited that I figured out how to get this going again. And then I'm excited to be with you. Where are you viewing from? <laughs> and uh, we'll do that first. And then... Um, I don't know what the order will be. John's in Greenwood, Indiana. Tez is in Tasmania. Uh, Andre is 5x5 five five in Portugal. Stan's in Lewiston, Idaho. Pick it up, boy. Dom, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Vancouver, Washington. Abbotsford. Carleton, Oregon. Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, the Ordovician Karst in Tennessee. Grangeville, Idaho. I know where that is. Grant County, Washington. I know where that is. Bellevue, Washington. Bellevue, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Gig Harbor, Washington, Yukon, Canada, Santa Fe, Texas, Victoria, BC, Menominee, Michigan. Uh, meanwhile, back in New Mexico, Matthews in Roslyn, Washington, not far away. Beautiful, beautiful weather here this evening. I wish I was outside, but I'm also relieved, at least at the moment. Now, we know how edgy things can get if, start, if, something, if something starts uh, screwing up. OMAC, Washington, Bellevue, Washington, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Spokane. There's Moto JW. Hi, Jason, in uh, Wenatchee. That's the drone flyer, among other talents. John's up in Grand Coulee. I was just talking about Grand Coulee today, John. Vancouver Island, Boulder Creek, California, and so on. Okay, I want to keep the pace of this going. Um, so what did I title this thing? Friday noon lectures. Okay. So let's start with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason I'm loopy too. I we'll get into that with story hour. Uh, why not? Crappy lighting for this. I'll do it anyway. So tomorrow, October sixth at noon Pacific time. I've already scheduled a live stream 
yeah, I've scheduled a live stream. If you go, oh, I'll show that to you, assuming this works, I'll show you how to get. Well, what the hell? I'll do it that. All right. I got to say it right now. Otherwise, um, this isn't, you're going to be worried about me. This, I'm not going to give you the whole story. I'm low on sleep. I have uh, got into some poison ivy, a poison oak, poison sumac. I don't know what the hell it was. It was poison of some sort. And I have had a, a major itchy rash, legs and arms for 10 days. And I'm getting like <laughs> two hours of sleep every night for like a solid week because as much creams and other things I put on, when I fall asleep, so unconsciously I start itching and wake myself back up. And um, that's all you need to hear about that. But I'm wearing all this loose clothing for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna be spacey. I'll probably be spacey tomorrow. I'm just trying to get to the weekend where I can just, um, <laughs> I don't know, sit under a tree with Bijou or something. But um, yeah, so I am scattered. I barely made it through the lecture this morning with the 101 students. Okay. So, please join us tomorrow uh, at 12 Pacific time. Rachel Hampton, uh, who I think drove up today from Nevada. Uh, she's a friend of Hannah Shamlu's, a co-worker, a former, I don't even know. Uh, exploring the origin of economic lithium deposits. That's tomorrow. We take a week off, Friday the 13th. That's bad luck, right? No, we actually had a talk scheduled and, and it got canceled. So, whatever. So the next of the four fall downtown, uh, I, I told you I'm going to be all over the place. This is not downtown. The next, just read it, man. What are you doing? Marisol Juarez Rivera, biomass mobilization in ice-covered Antarctica lakes. The following Friday, uh, October 27th, 2023, Diane Grudy, driving over from Wenatchee, Exploration, Development, and Geology of the Ranchy Gold Belt. And then, ah, yes, flying in from Indiana, from Purdue University, you know her, Erin Donaghy, talking about Oceanic Plateau Collision. I wonder which one that was. Oceanic Plateau Collision, Erin Donaghy, and Breakup in the Pacific Northwest. So four talks on those dates. And there'll be all sorts of reminders and other things. And you're like, why didn't you announce this a week ago? I would have scheduled, you know, I really want to see these live. I told you one reason. Another reason is this place is electric. The weather has been gorgeous here in Ellensburg. Uh, I haven't heard um, the official enrollment of the university, but at least in this building, it is back to normal. I like it's night, it's 20. 19 again. Uh, there's class after class after class booked in here. If you remember, going to the 101 live streams or the 351 live streams, you know, there were 12 kids in here and we had, there was, I was the only class in the entire auditorium every quarter. I got spoiled. This was like my room. I could set all this stuff up, uh, you know, a day ahead of time. Well, now I'm hustling because there's a, a environmental studies class uh, at 9 o'clock, I'm at 10 o'clock with Geology 101. There's three sections of Psychology 101 at 11, at 12, and 2. Why am I telling you all this? I don't know. The point is, the room is full of people. Everybody's fresh. There's a lot of activity here. And I have been scrambling to keep up with all of that. I'm not complaining. It's nice to have life in the building again. And it, it's been a long time since we've had that. And so here I am. I'm not a last minute type of a person, but I'm a last minute type of a person for some of these things I've been talking about. Let me make sure we're five by five and then I'll, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hey, Jim, I was just in Wisconsin a week and a half ago and my mom had a hard time believing that somebody watched regularly from Lake Koshkin. We had a one of my favorite steak places. It's kind of new. What's it called? The Chop Shop. No, the Chop House. The Chop House. 
This episode of Nick from the Auditorium brought to you by the Chop House on the shores of Lake Koshkanon in southern Wisconsin. And I brought you, I said, Mom, you, do you realize somebody watches regularly from Lake Kosh? And she's like, you're kidding me. So I'm glad to see your name. I'd forgotten your name. Five by five the whole time. Okay. So uh, I do want to test this. That's the whole reason I'm doing this with you tonight. But uh, let me give you a little bit more juice maybe. Um, and let's do some live Q&A just based on some of the things I'm saying or things that you've been curious about. I can't even think straight. Let's test first. And I want to, I want to, I'll show you a couple of things on uh, the World Wide Web, if I can get that to work. Okay? So I am... Okay, I'm going to go behind. You know, I'm in my little director's chair over here. I'm going to disappear. And if you're willing uh, to help me out, I'll have a couple of testing questions for you about cameras and can you hear this and all that. And then... Uh, I will seamlessly flow into talking about um, some invitations to you uh, if you're thinking about coming to Ellensburg anytime soon. Okay, slow yourself down, boy. You're sweating, and that activates the uh, skin situation you have. So can you do that, please? All right. 230 people for a testing video. Nice. Okay, uh, let me keep this brisk. So if you remember, this is the setup from last, yes, I am. And I am testing to see, okay. So yeah, this is wide and, um, oh, I, I, there's a nine o'clock class in here tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep some of this stuff up and just talk to the instructors at nine and say, can you deal with a few tripods and things on the? Thank God this is live. You can see frustration boiling over. Okay, so that's good. That's the wide camera. Don't mean to make you dizzy. There's some, my favorite. Let's zoom in on the Crocs. Those aren't Crocs. Let's zoom in on those Birkenstock. Okay. Good. Okay. I just did something I didn't want to do. Okay, now we're switching over. To face camera. Remember, this is a two camera setup, no big deal. And that'll work. And let me try to set up tracking. So I'm over here, and I'm going to turn on tracking. Oh, and I need to switch. Yeah, you couldn't even see that. Okay, now you can see that. Yeah, I forget. Okay, am I tracking? Yes, I am. Okay, so this is FaceTime camera. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that works. I have to remember to keep going back to OBS to switch that. Right. Uh, this is only going to be a few more minutes, I promise. Uh, the two cam setup. If I do wide and I, I got, yeah, right. Go, go, go. So this is the wide shot. We've got the, I never show you that because those people, refuse to be on camera for whatever reason that's fine so i'm going there and then when it's time for some question and answer we do this yeah and good okay and then yep and then yep okay now how can i give me another second and then i'll i promise i'll, get, I'll give you some detailed content i think live Screw it. I can't find us on the other iPad, but I've got us on this one. Okay. Uh, think on your feet, man. You can do it. 
Think on your feet. Think on your feet. Zoom in. We don't need to track on me anymore. Okay, and now if I go here, I'm in the corner. Okay, you're there, right? I'm not gonna be looking at you because I can't, but. Um, uh, okay, content. So, I don't know. Oh, I have to be. Right. God. <laughs> oh, this is, why am I doing this live? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. So slides only. I got to go up real quick. You can hear me. Yeah, you can hear me. So I can just, you don't have to see me. I can I just, just do this. Okay. So let's, um, I'm going to get one eye on the iPad and make sure that that's working. Zoomed up right. And you can see the pointer. This is the farm that I grew up on. And this is a drumlin made out of glacial till. Um, and there's what the glacial till looks like. I mean, it's sand, mostly, in Jefferson County, Wisconsin, and then there's amazing erratics as well. And this is the barn where I got the poison oak <laughs> with two of my sons who are also battling the same uh, skin stuff and the swelling problems. So whatever, we're not getting there. There's, oh my gosh, now I'm going to get emotional. That's my dad. Audio is dead. Are we five by five, please? Are we five by five? Slide screen is frozen. We're five by five. Good. That means one of the fives, you can still see the video, right? So if I do this, I'm just going to proceed. I see a bunch of five by fives. Um, here's what I want to tell you. Screw that. So I've been playing with the website. If you haven't been there in a while, this is what it looks like now, and it's going to continue to change. And I have two uh, columns up here on the right. This, uh, do I really want to do this now? Sleep deprived? Sure. There's more than floods now. So this is in preparation for this winter. So if you go up to Brett's, I have already have a long list of items that were um, found online by me, found online by many of you, and I've organized it a little bit more. So there's plenty there for you to enjoy, and we're going to be using that all winter, so I'm not going to go on now. And then there's a separate, I don't know, maybe this will be confusing for people, I don't know. Frozen slide screen, no audio. Okay. Are we five by five? Are we five by five? Okay. Okay, now, you don't want to get, I'm already in a weird state, so <laughs> this is giving me a throwback to stuff from my house when I was getting all frustrated, remember? I, I'm on the verge of that right now. But I'm going to go back, I'm going to stay here for a second, I'm going to go back to the slides, and I, I don't understand the audio problems if you are truly all having them. Let me go back to what I had. And I'm going to stay seated right here. Are we still five by five right now? And if we are, then I'm just going to continue. Okay, Don, that's all I need. Thanks. I trust you. Don from Los Angeles. Okay, 
Yeah, we're all rusty. Maybe you're rusty on your end on how to refresh and how to remember how to do whatever. Who knows? But I, So in addition to the Brett's column, there's a floods column. And this is a shorter list, but I'm going to be adding non brett's related papers. And I've been having a blast. Richard Foster Flint, I'm just starting in on that stuff. Uh, and even though I've been overwhelmed with other things in the last few weeks, I've, I've been having a great time continuing to chip away. So I'm really looking forward to this winter's uh, A to Z series. But that's not why I wanted to come here. I wanted to come to 101. So if, and normally I would look into the camera right now, but I'm not going to. I now know the scene in the Geology 101 class. Our 101 class uh, this quarter is meeting 10 o'clock till 10.50, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, room 103, and the name of this building is CWU's Discovery Hall. And there's free parking during the school day on 7th Avenue by Memorial Park. I made a video specifically on where to park for free if you want to visit our campus. I'm inviting you, if you're interested, uh, to go to this schedule. Uh, we had a woman from Texas today sit in. We had another couple from Fairbanks, Alaska sitting in, just today. Uh, so they found this site and they knew uh, that I was going to be meeting and talking about Glacial Till. So, I mean, you're welcome to come tomorrow if you want. 10 o'clock, Global Climate History Lecture at 10 o'clock, and then same room at noon, uh, we'll be having our guest lecture. But you can see the rest of the term, and I do need to get on camera now. Okay, this is working, I guess. I want to talk to you just a little bit more face-to-face. -face. Thank you. This is helping me. I'm remembering some of this stuff now. Uh, tomorrow might be a problem for due to my condition and also uh, my rustiness here, but I can't think about that too much. Okay, so what am I doing here? I, I've announced the fall schedule for the noon uh, guest speakers. I used to call them Talk Friday, so I thought it was a cute name. Nobody liked it. Nobody said, is it a Talk Friday? So I've scrapped that. I guess I'll just call it Fridays at noon. But it's an ongoing uh, geology department lecture series. And I know that many of you have watched some of those in the past. You can watch them all in replay. There's a pl Hang on. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go shower. So. I've also been playing around on my YouTube channel. So there's a different looking photo up here on top. I don't know if that means anything to you. Damn it, are we frozen? No, but there's, oh, there's just a delay, okay. So, yeah, I continue to get asked if, if, I, if I found my hammer. And so I thought I'd just make a new video just showing Andrew, the guy who went out and found the hammer that I dropped. But I don't know, have you ever gone to playlists? And if you haven't, uh, this is one way to get to all of the Baja BC episodes to watch them in replay. If you haven't, uh, I'm announcing this right now, I guess, if you haven't discovered it. I have taken all, I, I'm still working on adding, but I've taken all of the previous lectures that I've done, video programs of varying formats and variant lengths, and um, this is all basically homework. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use that. There's 80 videos here, for crying out loud, just, just devoted to the Ice Age floods. And I think once we get rolling with the alphabet series this winter, I'm going to be itching to do, no pun intended, I'm going to be wanting to break new ground pretty quickly with the A to Z series starting in November. So I'm going to have people kind of watch some of these grab bag videos to get themselves up to speed. But again, I'm distracted. The real reason I want to come here was to show you that 
here are all of these. Oh, hey, man, that's cool. Um, here are all of last year's Friday noon lectures. And I, I haven't been using these playlists intentionally in showing you how to use them, but it's a handy way, I think, to find some of this stuff. And then, yeah, all, all these other things that you've, you've seen many of those things before. So that's a new point of emphasis, I guess. Jaw Harp says, there's no video of the hammer rescue, just a recounting. Uh, well, that's true. If you felt uh, misled uh, by the title, I, uh, I apologize. Uh, yep. Yeah. And no, we're, okay. Boy, I'm rusty. Holy cow. We're going to do some live Q&A, I think, in just a second. Let me swing you around. God, do I need to come in early tomorrow morning and practice this again? I guess it depends on if I get any sleep tonight. Because this is borderline train wreck just with myself. Okay, I think the rest of the way, if you're still with us, 307 are watching. Um, <laughs> you got some questions? You curious about anything? About things going on here? About follow-up from things that happened this summer? Uh, I don't. I don't know if you've been checking in with what's been going on with my little world. Uh, the Penrose conference did some live streams from there. It's probably the last time I was live with you. The Starlink thing kind of have gotten out of the habit of using that. Um, I really liked the Kathy Troost video that was more than an hour long from Puget Lowland. I don't know if you saw that one. But uppercase, and we'll just do a little question and answer before I, Liz is probably wondering where I am. Hi, John. I've been, uh, John says, I've been watching I-90 Rocks. Will there be any more I-90 Rocks? Well, the short answer is no. So you're aware, I think, John, that Tom Foster passed away first week of March, 2020. Um, and I, I am not going to tell you the whole story, but I can't get the footage of all the video that Tom and I shot for the rest of the I-90 project. So if I wanted to continue the I-90 series as it was fleshed out, I'd have to find somebody else to work with, but I would, I, I would also be starting from scratch because all those files are not available. Uh, yeah. What geology puzzles have been on your mind recently? I've been really locked into the Ice Age floods, Philip, and uh, I have been trying to pace myself because it's been so much fun, and I've been visiting with so many geologists that many of you know that you've been you've you've. I was supposed to go to Montana tomorrow. I was supposed to spend the weekend with Sky Cooley and learn about moraines over there, but I had to cancel on the guy because of my condition here. Um, but I am, I am, I don't want to say I'm more excited than past falls as far as getting ready for a winter series, but especially because of the help from some of the viewers, um, it's just been a blast. And I'm trying not to do too much now so that I have something in the tank once we actually get started. Uh, is there any registration required by CW to attend a class? Not in my class, Brett. So I've had a long-standing agreement with anybody who wants to just visit the building, Discovery Hall, at any hour of the whole day, walk in the building. I told you the free parking on 7th Street. And if I'm teaching, you are welcome. There's no papers. There's no formality whatsoever. And I'm inviting you now uh, because I know that there are 75 kids in the room. 
and we just had our first quiz and the first midterm will be next week. And I know that uh, we'll be under 70, maybe under 65, maybe under 60 students in the room. So there will be no shortage of empty seats. So if you are interested in, and, and we're, we're past COVID, so there's no masks or anything. So um, I, people have already started coming just off the street. Uh, they found the schedule and they're joining and, and you are welcome. Just if you're passing through town, like the folks this morning, uh, they rented an Airbnb and, uh, and turned it into a little, uh, we, uh, it's not the weekend, a couple of days. Keep it moving. You are welcome to come. Other classes on campus, it's more formal, but in, in geology, if you uh, just went and talked to Hannah Shamluk, you didn't sit in your rocks and minerals class. Talk to Chris Mattinson, can I be on the fly on the wall in your petrography class this fall? You know many of these people by now, and they're working here, and they know that I'm doing all this stuff, and so they are not phased in the least when someone knocks on their door and said, I'm so excited to meet you, Chris Mattinson. I'd love to visit with you. And if he has some time, he'd be happy to visit with you, I'm sure, too. Um, more questions? Be careful. It's possible to pass it. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to be a good patient, uh, Leah. Uh, um, you know, it's with all those field videos. Uh, so many of you would have concerns about my well-being and I, you're coming from a good place. But I think, to be totally honest, I think some of you are coming from a place of fear. Like those are your, like, I wouldn't want to be out there by myself. Why are you out there by yourself? Or I wouldn't walk on that trail. Why are you walking on that trail? Well, I do have experience uh, and I've had no troubles. And we were just doing a job on the farm um, and ran into that poison oak. So um I was just going to ignore it, and then uh, it got a little bit more severe and some swelling, and uh, so I, I went to the hospital. <laughs> um, I don't believe there was a 6.1 earthquake in Kittitas a few days ago. I would have known about that. Um, that seems a little high, but uh, there have been some, some modest earthquakes recently. I've heard about them. Walter Zaliga always comes down and visits my office if something's going on in the seismograph. Don, any news from Randy? Uh, I have tried. Uh, we mostly communicate by Facebook Messenger. And Randy Lewis in Wenatchee, the Native American person who I um, thoroughly enjoy. I Every month or so, I check in. And he says, I, I just have so much going on. Uh, he's leading tours. He's doing things for the Wenatchee Museum. He's uh, involved in land acquisition and celebrations and salmon bakes. So it's a good thing that Randy is feeling strong enough to be out doing all of these amazing things. And he basically just says, I need to rest in between, in, in between those times. I can't, I can't go out anytime soon. And he always says, well, maybe when it gets a little cooler. Well, it's, I don't know what it was today, 80 today. So maybe uh, I can find an afternoon where Randy and I can go for a drive. I would like that, but um, so it's a good report from Randy. Um, yeah, no more poison ivy stuff, if you don't mind. I, I've been thinking about it too much. I don't even know what what I ran into, but oh, ridiculous. I'm scrolling back for just a few more. I started this a half an hour ago. I'm glad you're, Ken uh, says he's watching Sean Wilsey. Sean has really done some really nice things. If you're unaware of Sean Wilsey's YouTube channel, uh, I think he's on sabbatical. He teaches in Twin Falls, Idaho. And so um, I enjoy Sean's work and uh, I'm glad that you're watching that too. Um, Rachel, I'm curious about the money for field trips. Keep it going the money for field trips. If you're talking about the Geology 210 account, uh, I'll assume that's what you're talking about, Rachel. I know that many of you uh, donated to that account. Um, there was $50,000 raised uh, 
and I I would I would like to do something to update everybody on the specific help of those donations. And since I don't teach the class, um, I'm a little hesitant to get in there. I, I don't I don't know quite how to do it, but. Uh, uh, and that just came up this morning with the gal from Texas who visited and sat in on the class. And um, so I'm, I'm weird about the money stuff in general. I think most of you know that, but I, there's, there's ways that I can follow through on some of that. And, and I will try to do that this fall. Look, I'm back down to live. We'll do three more. And then I think uh, maybe I'll test things one more time. Oh, I have to test the other microphone. Hang on. Um, would you mind? I'll do three more questions and then we'll do, we'll finish with a little bit of testing. Three more uh, uppercase, please. Hi, Rob. How are you doing down there in uh, Salem? Will we do another fundraiser for the students this year? It, yeah, I, I, it's, it's encouraging that you're asking about that sort of thing. Um, it's, I can't even say it's in the works, but I, it's been crossing my mind more and more there are a couple of other needs with the students in the department, but I'm way ahead of myself. Uh, Dean, when will the floods A to Z start? Dates and times. Thanks for the question. I don't know. The last two winters, our alphabet series, the A to Z series was Wednesdays at 2 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. This auditorium's booked uh, Monday through Friday. So I'm not even sure I'm gonna be in the auditorium. Um, so I don't know the days and the times. Thank you for your interest. I think I'll stick with the two a week. Maybe I'll do it for my office. I don't, I don't know. So mid November, I guess is when I start, but I, I don't have anything more than that. Thank you. Uh, more poison ivy stuff. I have a Martin guitar. That sounds fancy, but it's the only guitar I ever bought. And a music student at Miami University helped me pick it out in a music store in Cincinnati. I don't play the guitar that much anymore, but I enjoy pulling it out of the closet every once in a while. Oh, you're all asking about the start of the A to Z series. I'm scrolling. I'm way back now. Friday Rocks Talks. One more, down to live. When will I be back in Idaho? Asks Sally, doing from Payette. Uh, that, I'll finish with a little story from that. I, I've gone, I've given some, oh, do I need to? It, I'm always, I always struggle with this. Like I don't expect you to watch every video that's on this channel. That's a crazy expectation. And yet, if I'm constantly fumbling over myself and saying, well, I don't know if you had the time to see the, the follow-up Penrose interview with Basil Tickoff and Station, then it's just too much. So it's just easier for me to assume that you've seen everything that's been going out, even though it's been summer and hopefully you've been out enjoying your own uh, full lives. Um, so I don't want to come off as like assuming that you've seen every last little thing that's, that's happened. That said... Uh, I was extremely pleased with the Penrose conference and I, you've seen those videos. I, you know what I'm doing now. You've seen those videos and there's an audio podcast getting ready for that. And then uh, the, the report live from the cabin and, and a few of the participants. And I don't get to that part of Idaho very often between Grangeville and Whitebird and Riggins and McCall but there's a lot going on there and I had a heavy dose of it for two weeks in August. So your question is, when will I be back to Idaho? Probably next time uh, we drive to Pocatello to visit Liz's parents, uh, probably next 4th of July. But other than that, I'll probably be staying, uh, whatever. Okay, okay. Um, I just, I think I'm done with the, any kind of geology or announcements. Thank you for sticking with this this long. We, we still got 400 people. 
we just picked up a, uh, okay. Uh, so the last couple of minutes, if you're still with us, looks like you are. I want to test just a couple more things and maybe I can convince myself that I don't have to come in at 6 a.m. to set this all up and test it again. So I need to slow down now to make sure that I am, uh, pressure's off. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sign off in a second. But let's, I'm just going to be mumbling to myself. So this is my mic. Zoom, why am I zoomed in? Isn't this wide camera? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So this is the yellow lav mic that I'll probably give the speaker. And I will watch the replay of this, I don't know, as I'm trying to fall asleep and not itch at 1 a.m. and then 2 a.m. and then 3 a.m. <laughs> um, and I'll see if this yellow uh, has a strong sound to it. But we're going to I'm going to turn this one off and turn on the other one, which I'll probably be using tomorrow. And I want to see if it's working and see if it sounds any better to you. So I'm going to you might remember testing these in, in the past year as well. Don't itch. Um, so I'm talking at a normal voice, normal voice for yellow, normal voice for yellow, normal voice for yellow. It's going off, normal vo voice for yellow. Now, this is a normal voice for purple. Normal voice for purple. Purple good? That's my question to you. I would like to see purple good or purple bad. Purple good, purple bad. Okay. Let's try it one more. Thank you. Let's try it one. Uh, I'm going to have them both on. And I'll, I'm going to have them both on. The only guy left in the building for crying out loud. Okay, I have both yellow and purple on. So I'm gonna test one more time. Um, yellow, and this time I'd like to hear if, if yellow is louder or softer or the same. So yellow, are we five by five with yellow? Five by five with yellow, please. All right now I'm just asking about yellow. Yellow, good, yellow five by five. You. And now I'm asking about purple. Purple, five by five, and is purple good and the same? Roy says yellow is hot, yellow is overdriven, yellow is loud. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, Purple slightly louder. Okay, well now we're, now we're into, well, we never quite get um, everyone to agree. So I'll read the comments and if, if, if uh, <laughs> I forgot the colors. If purple and yellow are the same, more or less, then that's gonna be good enough at least for tomorrow. Okay, one more practice with the cameras and the laptop screen and then I'm done. As always, thank you so much for your help. That's face camera. And if I move face camera, I control it with Insta360. And if I switch to wide camera, I have to switch to wide camera on 
Insta360 to show the room. And then there's the slide, the, oh yeah, I do that. So we're gonna practice the clicker. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna stand up here, assuming you, you're still hearing me okay, and I'm gonna advance. This is my dad who passed away in 2019. Oh boy, we don't have a clicker that's working. Okay, I need to remember to pair the clicker with this laptop. All right, um, but we are full screen. There's some Moraines above Leavenworth, Washington. Tried to shoot a video there last two weeks ago and uh, the light was wrong, so I drove all the way back home. And slides and face. And question and answer. Thanks everybody, in case you caught us late, let me finish the way we started with an announcement of the schedule of the talks. And maybe we will see some of you here tomorrow. Rachel Hampton giving a talk live Friday, October 6th, 2023, that's tomorrow, last time I checked. Exploring the origin of economic lithium deposits. You can find the scheduled live stream in the playlist for Friday noon talks on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Wordy. The next talk will be October 20th, Marisol Juarez uh, Rivera. Ice Covered Antarctica Lakes. Diane Grudy, exploration geologist from Wenatchee, retired now, but a key part, part of the Wenatchee Gold exploration back in the 1980s and 90s. And then our old friend, Erin Donaghy, coming from Purdue University. She will be here in the flesh. Oceanic Plateau Collision and Breakup in the Pacific Northwest, Friday, November 3rd. All four of those talks this fall will be live streamed, but they will also be, of course, recorded for you to enjoy as a replay later on. Thank you. I love you. And goodbye from Ellensburg, Washington, USA. Maybe I can remember how to end the stream. Maybe. I love you. Goodbye.